Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where we are currently pushing into North America and it is actually going, well if we can get zoomed in without a little bit of lag there, it's actually going reasonably well. If we look in air mode here, yeah this is looking decent. Air superiority over New England isn't ideal but Eastern Canada is doing much better and we're able to just push our way up here in terms of the air war. I feel like there's very little resistance left. Canada has planes that they don't seem to be interested in utilizing, so that is a thing, and I mean, as far as this army goes, we're probably going to eventually assign it just into this army group over here. That'll be fine. I'm reasonably content with that. So as far as things over this way are going, we should consider dropping a few nukes over here. There's a lot of really tightly clustered American forces over this way, and let's just do something about that, shall we? We're just going to weaken them a little bit. Down here, of course, in New England, we don't have the air superiority to do that, and that's okay. Now, these guys, I'm just going to toss them for now into the European Coast Guard. It needs all the help it can get. Excellent. So off we go here, and we have driven a line here. So as far as these guys are concerned, their orders really do need to be... Uh, yeah, we'll just select these guys for now. Their orders really do need to be offensive lining, like out over this way. Like so. And then these guys, their orders need to be offensive lining, like out over this way. Just make sure that that falls. Okay. And then once that happens, we should have this all well and truly under our control. Apparently we're skipping Halifax. Cool. That's fine. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. So that is A-OK. -okay. We're a little bit concerned about manpower right now, but of course we do have air superiority. And so that means lots and lots of equalizers. Excellent. And there's some equalization happening right now. Fantastic. We're going to keep it going. And we're just going to continue pushing up. You can see here this army has finally decided to move to the front because our supply situation has improved. That's great, and looking at our infrastructure over here, it still needs more work. So we're going to continue working on that. Our infrastructure up here is improving dramatically. And at this point, it's actually looking pretty decent supply-wise. I'm pretty happy with that, all things considered. So that is great. We're going to continue pushing in to Montreal over here. Of course, we do need to continue dropping equalizers over here. They have a large number of troops in these areas, and we're just going to see about doing something about that. They just have a ton of troops piled into these small little areas. So that is fine, and we're just going to continue breaking their supply lines. That's the overall plan here, is just overtax their supplies and see what happens. Just, uh, go grab that. Okay. So they managed to push us back over here. That's fine. As far as our air war over here goes... It is at about half. Yeah, this is the majority of the Canadian fighters here. We're going to move these two wings over to New England. And let's see what that does up here. Okay, our air superiority dropped a bit in Eastern Canada, but I'm not too concerned about that. New England is where I want the air superiority right now, but we don't currently have it. I did think that we would. Uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna need more planes up here, or we're going to need to actually utilize some air bases that are over here. Like we need to, Almost certainly liberate these air bases, but we do have this one. And to that end, yeah, it's nearly full of our ally planes, but we're going to crowd them out a bit. We're going to put in just some fighter threes, and we are going to do that for the manpower efficiency. And because these are pretty close to the front, we don't actually mind doing this at all. Yeah, they're going to have limited range, but that's okay. We're going to put both of them onto air superiority over New England. Excellent. And that should, I think, get our allies to back off on their planes, I hope. 
this is maybe a little bit precarious right here. If we get cut off, we're going to have potential problems. We should consider building a naval base right here. Just in case that happens. And I did not queue that up at the top of the list, and I should have. There we go. <laughs> now we'll consider building a naval base right here. Just in case they push us in. We're not necessarily expecting them to. But that's just a... Uh, well, like I said, a just-in-case situation. They're not ready yet. Now, if we do see that over in Syria, we should tell them that they are ready. Hello. Is the Socialist Republic of Kurdistan usually there? Yeah, I guess it is. I'm not used to that. I don't know why. But, okay, that looks fine. We're going to just double-check our other locations. Yeah, there's this that we can't do much about. But overall, things are going very well for us here. We're going to continue to nuke these areas. They are continuing to resupply, but there's absolutely no way that they can keep this up in terms of their output. Specifically, by output, I mean their industrial output. Their manpower output might well be able to keep this up. What does the U.S. got right now? Now, keep in mind they are on scraping the barrel, but it looks like they're still mobilizing. Okay. Now, I did off-camera work up our war support. Our cooldown on that comes out on 9 July 1985. So it'll be a little bit before we can do that, and we will be, of course, further increasing our war support later on. Let's check in on the air war in these two locations. 70% versus 70%. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm okay with letting the air war run a little bit attrition-y over here. We'll let that happen, and that seems fine to me. Supply-wise over here, we're a little low. Not tremendously. So that's good to know. We do still have troops moving up to the fronts over here. So that is in progress. And in theory, I mean, we want to sweep this front over this way. That would be ideal to, like, swing this down on that angle over there. That would be perfect. And we do have a shortage of manpower. There's no doubt about that. We are gaining about 100,000 per month, which is respectable. And I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty certain that mobilization notwithstanding, the U.S. is not gaining that much per month. We could find out by tagging into them, and honestly, I'm, I'm kind of curious. It doesn't really affect the strategy, to be clear. The strategy is what the strategy is. So let's actually check. Tag USA. What do they got? I mean, we know that they have this. They're still mobilizing. And let's see. Yeah, there's... Additional mobilizing here, but what is their actual monthly gain? 71k, so that is lower than us. Again, that doesn't change the strategy at all. I just wanted to guarantee that. I wanted to make sure of that. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Now see, this was what we were afraid of. You guys need to get over here and take this back. Open up this corridor. We are definitely afraid of this right now. Get in there. Open that back up. We don't have supply flow over here. Do they have reinforcements walking in? They do. But it might be too late for their reinforcements here. We'll see. We don't need all of these units moving. I'm going to tell these guys, stop moving. And we don't need all of these guys moving over here either. So let's just keep an eye on this situation. This is the exact situation we were concerned about over here. We knew that this would be a potential problem area. We should, however, redo this offensive line at this point, I feel like. So at this point, this offensive line really needs to be... Let's see, we could maybe use the Great Lakes to our advantage and split up their lines a little bit. But I kind of don't want to get to that point just yet. Well, maybe we could do something kind of like this. And then from here, we swing southward and take up like a position on this side of this river. That would be the overall idea. 
So we'll go ahead and begin executing that. And as far as this situation over here goes, how close are we? We're very close. Push them out again. Excellent. Let's get that supply flow in. Only at 85%, 90. Okay, there we go. So, we got the supply flow back for now. And of course, we do have this naval base building over here just in case. So that's something to think about as well. We don't currently need anyone in any of these armies, but let's check in on the air war over here yet again. For New England, we've got 71% and 79% in Eastern Canada. So you know what that means. It's time to do some equalization. There we go. Now, what we're really interested in is not, like I said previously, not exhausting their manpower. That's not something that's going to happen anytime soon. What we are really, truly interested in here is instead exhausting their supplies. Specifically, their things like tanks and their infantry equipment. These are the things that we want to get rid of for them. So let's go ahead and queue up additional infrastructure over here that will become necessary. Excellent. And we'll just continue pushing our way northward. As far as this battle up here goes, they've taken this back again, and this is very problematic for us at this time. Why is this guy leaving? Like, don't do that, bud. <laughs> we need people over here. Okay. Eh, this is problematic, to be sure. This is where we're building that uh, naval base. So there's that. Guess we'll need to build one over here again, also, potentially. Like, our supplies over here are dire, and that's because they got reinforcements in over here. However, nukes are available. We have the air superiority over here now. This is a huge, huge deal. We're going to nuke their entire front. This is vitally important at this point that they are not able to continue this assault. So, let's go ahead and do that. Kaboom. And again. The entire front here. We need to weaken this dramatically to the point where we can push past this being a danger point. That is the goal right now. We have plenty of nukes, but we do want to be a little bit cautious on our usage of them. We have been using them fairly swiftly lately. But once again, we're just going to nuke all of this. Okay. This is the most important location. Okay, so at this point, their organization is too low to advance. That's fantastic. We're going to continue hitting them. One more round. Do we want to do this across the entire front? Honestly, I feel like we do. Again, the point of this is not to eliminate manpower, but to eliminate their supplies. So something along the lines of this should do nicely. Okay, let's also check in in South America here. We've made big gains down here, and their number of troops has dropped pretty dramatically over here over the course of the last little while. That's fantastic. We're going to get one more front nuke over here. There we go. Okay, so let's check in over here. Kaboom. Okay. We definitely need to keep nuking here as well as here, but we need to be, like I said, a little bit more judicious with our nuke usage at this time. Places where we are losing combat are, I think, the locations where we want to be nuking now. This is basically the same strategy that we took for the Asian front, right? Establish air superiority, and then nuke them into submission. <laughs> that is the stratagem here. It's not perhaps a great stratagem, but it does work. We need to continue to hit these guys. You can definitely see they're struggling to get their supplies back. 
at this point. And we're very pleased about that. We have people pushing in over here. When will they arrive? The answer is soonish. We're going to continue to nuke here. Since we are losing that attack, another. And a nuke over here. Excellent. So what are the losses looking like these days? Yeah, they're definitely losing troops at more than a 2 to 1 ratio. So that's very good for us. We are gaining back troops at a decent rate, but so is the U.S. We're gaining manpower at a roughly comparable rate. We're a little bit higher, and as our... Uh, as our... What's the term I'm looking for? <laughs> I've completely blanked it. Uh, compliance. That's it. As our compliance continues to increase, we should be seeing a pretty good increase as well. The U.S. is still mobilizing, so that's a thing. Definitely to consider. Okay, so we have troops heading in over this way. They will be arriving shortly. And we have supply flow over here once again, so that is great. Now I'm going to select these guys and tell them, eh, just get back to the normal attack. Everybody's in here. Fantastic. So we do definitely need to make this corridor a little bit safer. We're going to continue to nuke these three locations here. That is the most... Actually, we're also going to nuke this one. These four locations. That is the most dangerous for us right now. Excellent. Now, it's been a little while since we have nuked to the south. So... Let's take a look here and see how they're doing supply-wise. Interesting. They're definitely struggling a little bit to supply this, but we do see that there is attrition here, and so it might just be that they have low counts of supplies over here. We're pushing in without need for nukes over this way, I feel like, so this looks fine to me. We're not going to nuke down there for the time being. An additional nuke here because we are losing as well as here. There we go. And then there's an awkward attack going on here. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that shouldn't be happening, but we're going to go ahead and nuke over here. Try to hold on to this airbase. That is very important that we hold on to the airbase, after all. They are basically out of organization. And there we go. Excellent. We do want to continue to attack here. Let's check the other flank over here. It looks fine. Excellent. There are these guys over here. They could definitely use a bit of nukage. And there we go. Okay, we should probably chill on the nukes a little bit, I say, as I drop another nuke. But like I said, I'm mostly only interested in dropping nukes in locations where we are losing attacks. Like this one, actually. Slightly shocking. Actually, the reason is because of both of these. And we shouldn't end up losing that long term. We'll just do that for now. We are down to 29 nukes. Keep that in mind. So we need to be a little bit more cautious over here. And we're just going to fight this over this way, the old-fashioned way. Supplies are doing okay. Infrastructure-wise, we can queue up infrastructure in Mexico City. And we're definitely working our way up the... Uh, Mexican southern coast, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's what we'll call that. Sure. We're making our way up that, and that is just fine. We have troops that are ready in reserve, so that's also good. Less good, we're down to 400,000 manpower. Ah, we've recreated this. Okay. Do they have supply flow? They do. Okay, so let's go ahead and select these armies here. This is only 27 out of the 30 of this army. We're just going to full-on assign this entire army over here, and then we're going to offensive line them all the way down at Halifax. There we go. 
like we did before. But we're in a less precarious position over here. Actually, we really, really need to push this tile. This is incredibly important. Okay. We're going to keep doing that. Because if we get this, then they're no longer in danger of being cut off over here. Now, we do have a naval base here, and we'll have another being constructed up over here for safety purposes. But for now, there we go. That should be reasonable amounts of safety here. Perfect. So we're going to get this taken care of and just push on in over this way. We don't expect this to be a very difficult push, in all honesty. And in the meantime, we are, of course, getting ourselves a little bit more manpower, but it's not like these regions are, you know, hugely populated over here like they were in China. So that's definitely not going to be netting us just huge chunks of manpower. But we are up to 105k manpower now per month. And that's great. I mean, we're okay with going into a manpower deficit. We've done it before. And we were able to get by, kind of. <laughs> we are seeing some attack losses here. And so let's go ahead and toss a couple of nukes in over here just to even this up a bit. There we go. And in terms of losses, almost 32 million to 73 and a half million. Sounds good to me. We're making great progress up here in Canada. We're also making progress chipping through Mexico. I am expecting at some point fairly soon Mexico to capitulate. How close are they, in fact? Uh, let's sort by... Helps if we do this correctly. Let's sort by this. Mexico is 47% towards capitulation. Okay. So it'll be a bit yet before they capitulate. What about Canada? Canada's 40% towards capitulation. Okay. So, yeah, that'll take some time, and that's okay. We're not too concerned about that. Interestingly, we're having some difficulties pushing in over here. I think that will change. Let's go ahead and look at infrastructure situations up here. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to get some infrastructure built in St. Lawrence and in New Brunswick. Those are very, very important for us. Ottawa is going to fall fairly soon. I feel like. We've also got this situation over here, which is a little bit messy looking, no doubt about that. Is there a connection here? I think there might be a connection here. Maybe. Awkwardness is ensuing, regardless. <laughs> but the invasion is going well. It's not going quickly. This is very similar to what happened over in Asia. Although we were losing in Asia for a while before we started winning, before we developed the air superiority. that's That was really what changed it, was the air superiority. Of course, we're not really doing too much in terms of close air support. All we're trying to do is establish the superiority so that they don't get the close air support and we get access to nukes. That's the idea here. Okay, so this army has forgotten their orders. Guys, can you get over here, please? <laughs> Don't forget about your orders. And just come on over an offensive line like that. There you go. This is the wrong army. It's this army. Come on, guys. Get over here. Get your offensive orders or offensive line. There you go. And get in there. Don't forget about those orders. And then these guys get assigned back to this order. Okay. Perfect. So now they are actually attacking over here again, which is good. We want to get this cleaned up so that we can get them moved into this line and have this line be a little bit better manned. That'll be fine. Look at this. We've almost pushed up to a border with the United States in the south. That is great. We're making s some fantastic progress down here, and this is mostly because they've pulled a lot of troops out of these lines. I think they've moved a lot of troops up over here thinking that this is the real threat. But the fact of the matter is, they're both the threat. And this would have been the threat if I hadn't have failed it. But I, I definitely did fail that. <laughs> 
So that's just fine. We're going to continue pushing in over this way. And yeah, this is completely okay. Halifax will be falling very, very shortly. And we are actually expecting Canada and the United Mexican States to capitulate fairly soon. Not, I think, this episode, but fairly soon. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue getting our gains. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.